Hello, I'm Janine and welcome to the Magic Egg Questionnaire, brought to you by Cloud Women Unite in association with the Creator Initiative. The Magic Egg Questionnaire has eight questions to NFT artists featured in the Cloud Women Unite exhibit for women. And today we are speaking to Carolyn Stoffers. She goes by the handle Ulala. She's 37 years old and hails from Berlin in Germany. How are you today, Carolyn? Thank you. I'm very good. How are you? <laughs> I'm well, thank you. Before we get started, is there anything you would like to add to my intro? Well, uh, I think um, it's the, the main information uh, anyways. I'm also uh, maybe to add to that, uh, I'm a mom. I have a four-year-old child. Uh, she's in kindergarten right now. Uh, I also own a business together with my husband. And I'm a writer as well next to my artistic endeavors. So there's a lot going on all the time, <laughs> as you can imagine. So yeah, that's maybe a good wrap up. Perfect. Excellent. So, Carolyn, are you ready to take the Magic 8 questionnaire? Of course. Let's go. All right. Question one. How long have you been on DSO? When did you join the platform? Yes. So, uh, I actually joined with my first account, which is Freedom XX, which is dedicated to my writing. Um, because I read somewhere, I think on Medium, about BitCloud and got interested in that. And that was on the 28th of September. And then shortly after that, I started pursuing also my artistic uh, stuff a little more. And I thought, well, actually, it would make sense to have two separate accounts for that because it's just different things. Um, so Olala uh, then joined on the 19th of October. So I think like a few weeks later. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Question two. In 10 words or less, describe your art style. That's a tough one. I actually prepared for this. <laughs> so I would say uh, it's explorative, fun, realistic within limits. It's useful, charitable partially. I love voxels and animation. I don't know if that was one or two more words than 10. I hope it's okay. <laughs> Question three. What do you consider your greatest inspiration? I actually think there's inspiration in everything. So everything that I see every day, everything that I feel, everything I hear, I smell, uh, whatever, um, outside, inside of myself uh, comes together. So it's really hard to really say there's only one thing because I think it's like a conglomerate of things that uh, build up the ideas. Uh, at the moment, I also love to get inspired uh, by Deso, actually, or the people that are on it. I think there's a lot of great, inspiring people there and cool projects. And that inspires me as well to do more things or join in different projects. Question four. What are your thoughts on the Cloud Woman United exhibit for women? Why are you taking part? I actually think it's really an amazing idea and I'd like to say also thank you to for uh, making this uh, happen and for all the work uh, that she put in and everybody who's uh, taking part. I think it's really great um, that we're coming together as women uh, to kind of celebrate our art and share our art. I love diversity in art and I think there's going to come together a lot of interesting different things and art pieces in the gallery. Uh, and I think that's really great and exciting. So this is why, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be part of this. And uh, actually Diana asked me in one of the clubhouse rooms if I could send something um, and uh, I did, and here we are. So I'm very happy about that. Question five, what are other projects you involved on on DSO? Yeah, I recently joined the uh, NFTs to Space project and um, also made a submission there and hope that uh, one of my NFTs will be sent to the space station uh, and into the orbit, basically. <laughs> um, so I think that's a fun idea and also fits yeah, with the whole technological world of the Web3 and blockchain and technology uh, in general. 
Um, I'm also part of the, the MetaSense project DAO. Um, so I own a MetaSense uh, and they have a Discord channel and they're building this DAO uh, out of this, which I find also very exciting and interesting and want to see where that goes. Um, and uh, then you could say, for example, I'm also I'm working on my own project with my writing account. So I write portraits of uh, different creators on DSO. Um, and have been working on that. I started off with writers, but also covered now um, artists and I will make a piece on Goldberry, the band. So I, there's a lot of things uh, also going on. I'm following story on Discord because I think it's uh, at the moment not the ideal how videos are shown on DSO. Uh, so I'm hoping that they will kind of yeah, bring that forward and make that happen better. And I might work also with 3D Social, which is uh, an app that's currently built, which will allow you to um, do minting of 3D uh, artwork. So like 3D, um, yeah, these voxel figures I'm making, for example, they're actually 3D and it's at the moment not possible to upload the file properly. You will always have to make like a workaround. And Andrew is working on something so we can actually look at the 3D file uh, or the model and the sculpture uh, online. Similar, I think, um, like you could look in the, the galleries of uh, Gabriel de Santo. So I think that's also exciting. And that's it. <laughs> Question six. Are you on any other NFT platforms? Uh, actually, I made an account on OpenSea uh, a little while ago because I was um, I had a project with saving the survivors um, to make seasons greetings cards, and uh, I made 100 of them and I sold uh, or was trying to sell 50 uh, of them on Diso, and thought it might make sense to split that up and uh, broaden the reach, basically, and also put 50 on OpenSea. And uh, I have to say that the experience on OpenSea is a bit clunky for me. I don't know, I didn't like the technical parts. It was not super easy and straightforward. I like NFT zone much better <laughs> to work with. And I also don't like that you have to pay these high gas fees there. So I uh, had actually also, I had one person buying that and they got in touch with me afterwards saying it took so long to be able to buy that through OpenSea. I don't know. It uh, was a, a little weird. So actually, um, I'm not very active there at the moment. But originally, I thought I could make some advertising for Deso uh, and uh, yeah, kind of broaden the, the audience that gets uh, accustomed with the stuff I made with the season's greetings cards. Of course, I wanted to try to get as many people as possible to buy something because I wanted to um, donate that to saving the survivors uh, and yeah, it kind of didn't work out as well as I thought. And maybe you just need to make much, much more marketing than I was able to do at the time for, for the project. Yes. So, yeah. Question seven. What do you want to achieve with your NFTs on the platforms? Um, in general, I understood that. Uh, sorry, I understood the question differently, I think, originally. But... Um, with the open C one, I said, I think I kind of answered that with the, the former question. Um, I wanted to make sure that people can see that outside of DSO. Um, if the question is more global <laughs> and includes uh, DSO as well, or just in general, what I want Always. to achieve with NF uh, NFT sales, I mean, of course, uh, on the one hand, it's about um, getting exposure, getting the art pieces out, um, getting people interested or kind of get a reaction from them. I think it's a kind of a feedback, actually, if your NFT gets sold, um, of course, if it creates some buzz on the platform. Um, and uh, of course, when it can have a charitable element, I like that a lot as well. So that's why I started off actually with uh, supporting saving the survivors through NFT sales. Um, I think it's not always uh, fitting or not always possible, but if it can be uh, combined with it, I think that's really good utility as well. Um, and then also in, in general, when you when you think about utility of the NFT projects, I'm not the person who's going to create a big Discord community, I think. Um, but I like when NFTs have further utility. That's why I like the 3D voxel models, for example, because you can make them uh, be usable in the metaverse if you're into that. Uh, you can use them in VR chat. 
uh, you can put them in one of Gabriel's galleries if you <laughs> like that. So um, I like the combination actually of utility, um, but without this whole, uh, we have a membership in a club kind of thing in the NFTs as well. So, yeah. Final question, question eight. What advice do you have for the other woman on DSO? It's a big question <laughs> because somehow uh, you always feel like, oh, am I the person to give advice? But uh, I think I there is something that um, I also wrote actually yesterday to someone who was asking how can they start selling their NFTs on DSO. And I think one of the things that um, if you're new to the platform or haven't been yet, it's a good idea to join some of the clubhouse rooms. And maybe the first one uh, that is, uh, if, you're, if you are a lady, then you should go to ladies on the mic, obviously, which is every Wednesday, I think at 5 CET that is hosted by Michelle Lord and uh, Miss Katie Ann. And uh, I think uh, the room is uh, super welcoming to everybody who's new, everybody gets to speak up and uh, get to introduce themselves and their work. And I think it's a super great starting point if you are new and want to connect fast, do that. Definitely. And with that, Carolyn, you are known. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at some of Carolyn's NFTs at the end of this video or browse all her contributions to the Cloud Women Unite Exhibit for Women Gallery. If you're watching on YouTube, you will find the link in the description or you can look around on this page. Carolyn, thank you for taking your time to, to chat with me today. And thank you all for watching. Join us again next time, where we'll be chatting to another amazing artist featured in the Cloud Women Unite exhibit for women. Until then, I'm Janine, and this has been the Magic Aid Questionnaire.